The highly scenic Katmai National Park and Preserve in Alaska has more volcanoes than any other national park in the entire United States. Here, there are 13 active volcanoes, including one of the planet's youngest volcanoes that did not exist before 1912, Nova Rupta. It produced the largest eruption of the 20th century, ejecting 31 cubic kilometers of material and draining the magma chamber of the adjacent Mount Katmai volcano, creating a massive caldera. However, this steep caldera is not the only scenic caldera within the national park. To the northeast are the remains of the unusual Kagoyak volcano, which contains a caldera with cliff faces up to 550 meters or 1800 feet tall. Although this volcano has not erupted in several thousand years, it is still quite active. Within its crater lake, volumes of carbon dioxide and other volcanic gases regularly bubble to the surface, proving that an at-depth magma chamber is still present. The Kagoyak volcano is located southwest of Anchorage on the Aleutian Peninsula, where the closest major city of King Salmon is 94 miles to the west. Kagoyak is located in a very volcanically active region, approximately halfway between the Kukak and four peaked volcanoes. The most prominent feature of Kagoyak is of course its caldera. This caldera measures 3 kilometers or 1.86 miles wide and contains two large masses of material within its lake. These masses of material are dacite lava domes which formed after the volcano's caldera forming eruption 5,800 years ago. Looking at Kogoyak's surrounding edifice with its generally uniform slopes, you might think that it was once a stratovolcano. However, this is not the case. Note how the volcano has two separate high points with a large low point between them. If this volcano was to have been a stratovolcano, its caldera rim would have either been a uniform height or have had one prominent high point. Instead, Kogoyak is a type of volcano referred to as a lava dome complex. The two regional high points on its caldera are each large lava domes, which formed rugged, albeit largely rounded domes of material before the volcano largely collapsed. As a whole, the Kogoyak volcano is composed of 11 lava domes representing slightly spaced minor eruptive centers which emplaced lava over a time span of more than 100,000 years. The Kagoyak volcano began forming 300,000 years ago when a volume of silica-rich magma intruded into the crust. Once it reached the surface, it generated a series of powerful explosions, carving out a several hundred foot wide crater. From this crater emerged a slow-moving viscous lava dome that was gray in color which continued to grow in size. This lava dome would continue to erupt for several months at a very low rate, building a dome-shaped edifice. Between 290,000 and 65,000 years ago, three other lava domes formed on the volcano, emplacing large volumes of ash and material deposited by intermittent pyroclastic flows. These lava domes had an unusually wide-ranging composition, encompassing material from basalt to rhyolite. Then, 60,000 years ago, Kagoyak began its most intensive eruptive period. Over the next 30,000 years, the volcano produced five additional viscous lava domes. After this period ended, the volcano became dormant for 24,000 years. Then, 6,000 years ago, a large lava dome extruded onto the surface in the center of the lava dome complex. This acted as a natural plug, which caused an immense amount of pressure to build during the volcano's next eruption. 200 years later, such an eruption came, sending a plume of ash more than 30 kilometers into the atmosphere. Part of the voluminous eruption column subsequently collapsed downwards, producing energetic pyroclastic flows which burned everything in the landscape up to six miles away. Then, due to the large amount of erupted material, a wide swath of the volcano collapsed downwards like a sinkhole, forming a massive caldera. In total, 6.5 cubic kilometers of volcanic rock was ejected in an eruption which was assigned a volcanic explosivity index of a 5. The two lava domes within the crater lake formed shortly after in 3400 BC. Although Kagoyak Volcano has not erupted in a long time, its next eruption is almost guaranteed to be highly explosive. In other words, when it does erupt again, you would not want to be within a 5 mile radius of its summit. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new patron, James T. Lemur, for supporting this channel.